Hi, I'm Bree Balchunas, and this is Orlando Health News Review for February 19th. This is news for you, by you. Yesterday, Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies announced it is opening the doors to an expansion of its neonatal intensive care unit. I'm especially proud to be the first to officially welcome everyone here to the Haley Family Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. It's our new 30-bed expansion to the current Alexander Center for Neonatology. This expansion makes our NICU the largest in the world under one roof. Located on the 11th floor of Winnie Palmer Hospital, the unit will feature 30 level 2 NICU beds in an environment designed to help enhance family-centered care. We now have the ability to keep moms and babies together a whole lot more and that, if you will, is really the intensity of caring that we'd like to accomplish in an intensive care unit. The $13 million unit was funded totally through philanthropic support. It is named the Haley Family Neonatal Intensive Care Unit in honor of Roy and Dee Haley, a local family that was one of the several donors who provided philanthropic support for planning and construction. The center, which now holds 142 beds, is organized to provide highly skilled, life-saving care to critically ill newborns. Pro golfer Annika Sorenstam discussed her experience in the Winnie Palmer NICU when her son Will was born 13 weeks early in 2011. I can assure you that this was probably one of the most amazing experiences, not something we planned, not something we wanted, but something that came and something that taught us a lot about life. Um, I cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. But as Mr. Palmer said, when he uh, gave us the opportunity to use his name, he wanted us to never be complacent and always strive to do better. To be the leaders in healthcare for babies, children, and women not only in Central Florida, but all over the world. And we had kept the promise. Team members are invited to tour the new unit today between 4.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Next week, we'll have all the coverage of this event. Another change to improve the patient experience happened recently at UF Health Neurosurgery at Orlando Health. I do the surgery scheduling and it's basically putting the pieces together for our patients. Uh, we work with the physicians and also with the hospital so that when the patient comes in after seeing the surgeon, we uh, verify the insurance, we verify the benefits, go over it with the patient, we do a calculation for them so they have an idea of how much it's going to be. Are they prepared for it or what can I do to help them best? Before this process, patients would be sent home and would have to call back. Now we provide a one-stop shop for added convenience. In this new process, patients are scheduled for surgery before they even leave the building. In most cases, the surgery is set two or three days after the appointment, which has gotten a lot of positive feedback from patients. Many team members have showed their red spirit this February. Team members from around the organization dressed in red showing their support of Go Red for Women Day, which supports the fight against heart disease in women. And last Friday, on Valentine's Day, the pet therapy team dressed to impress for their daily rounds with patients. Volunteer services greeted patients and guests as they handed out Valentine's Day treats at ORMC. Thank you to all team members who showed their spirit in making Valentine's Day fun for all. Don't forget, team members are eligible for discounted tickets to the Arnold Palmer Invitational taking place next month. Visit SWIFT for more information and to purchase tickets. That's it for today's edition. For Orlando Health News Review, I'm Brie Balchunas.